Hey kids, welcome to Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays. Number 17, Create Your Own Array. Now that we've dealt with our design elements, we'll need to start writing the actual code for our app. This app keeps track of a list of items, so we know that we'll need to create an array to store them. We have to do this. Create an array that will hold your list of favorite things. Add three of your own favorite things to your array. This is simple enough. All we're really gonna do in this lesson is create a array just like we have for the previous 16 lessons. Well, what does that look like? We're gonna to have to create an array. We're gonna call that array our favorite things or fave things. Right now we want to add stuff to it. I assume a lot like lesson 15, where we had to play around and make predictions, this array is going to store things and then recall it. And because of that, I think I want to add items into it. Most of the lessons we did that, we used our append items code. And I think I want to use that with this one. And because I want to append items, I probably want to start with my bucket being empty. Let's just put two brackets. That's my empty bucket. Well, let's add things to that empty bucket. We're going to use our append item. What are we appending? Our favorite thing array. And we have to add something that we think is our favorite. So I'm going to put my car, my Chevy Volt. Add another one. Fave thing. This one, I'm going to put video games. You all know I am a very avid gamer, a little too much. And our third one, append item. What list are we appending? Fave thing. Our third favorite thing, hmm. My wife and I have been watching a lot of the pizza cook-off show, so I'm going to go with pizza right now. And those are my three favorite things. What my code does is it creates an, an array, fave things, and it's currently empty. I'm gonna add fave thing, my volt, video game, and pizza. Just so you know, we could have done this by just coming up here and going into our bucket and wrote Chevy Volt pizza, and video games. Don't forget your quotes. Both of these ways would have been perfectly acceptable to do. They both create an array and store things in them. I am just going to choose to go with our original way, which was to create an empty array and then to add items into it. I think as we move forward, we're gonna keep adding items. So for me, I think this will just be helpful. Whatever way you choose, perfectly up to you. Looking back up at our do this, we created an array that will hold a list of our favorite things, and then we added three of our favorite things to it. We're not gonna call or do anything else to it yet. All we did was create an array. Right now, if I hit run, you will see it won't do anything because we haven't added that to the code yet. I think right now that's all code.org wants from us. Let's hit finish and see. That's it. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.